I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to quickly find equation from the given data for a trigonometric function. So the question here is state the period, amplitude and equation of the axis of the trigonometric function that produces the following table of values. Then use this information to write the equation of the function. So what we are given here is set of points, five key points for a trigonometric function at 0 the value is 2, at 3 pi it is 8, 6 pi 2, 9 pi 8, 12 pi 2. So what you observe here is that the value of the function is minimum value is 2 and the maximum value is 8 pi. What is time period? Period for a trigonometric function is is the difference between 2 maximum or 2 minimum, right? So we can say difference that is delta between uh, consecutive peaks we can say maximum values or you could also find difference between consecutive minimum values that will give you the period right so in this case we can say that the x values when the next two comes these are two minimum values so the time period t for us is 6 pi minus 0 which is 6 pi you could also calculate from these values which are the maximum values that is you could do 9 pi minus 3 pi and also you'll get 6 pi so that gives you the period now from here we know that the maximum value is 8 and minimum value is 2 right so maximum and minimum value help us to find amplitude and equation of axis. To find amplitude, what should you do? Amplitude is difference of these two values. That is maximum minus minimum divide by 2. Right? So that is equal to, in our case, maximum is 8 and minimum is 2. So 8 minus 2 divided by 2. So A amplitude is equals to 6 by 2 which is 3. To find the axis what do we do? Axis is maximum plus minimum divide by 2. It's the average value right? So in this case the average value is 2 plus 8 which is 10 divided by 2 will give us 5. Now once you have all these parameters then you can write down the equation right? Now let's write down the equation since we are starting with minimum so the graph of the function could be given as like this do you see so since we are starting from minimum we can say y is equals to minus cos now amplitude is 3 so let me write 3 first that is the amplitude right cos k value is 1 over 2 pi over t let me calculate that k equals to 2 pi over t and t for us is 6 pi so k is 1 over 3 so we get cos of 1 over 3 we already taken phase shift by writing minus here right the variable here is x the independent variable and the axis is plus 5 so it moves 5 units up so that gives you the equation of the function right so general equation we normally write in the form of y equals to a in this case cos k x minus p plus q right so that becomes our equation for the given function right so we can write here big and bold y goes to minus 3 cos 1 over 3x plus 5 so that is the answer for the given question i hope you understand and appreciate it so whenever you are given the data look for the difference between two maximum points right these two points so this value gives you the time period. Once you know the time period, you can find k, 2 pi by time period. To find amplitude, you have to find difference between maximum and minimum, divide by 2. You get a. To find the axis, you find the average. That means add them up and then divide by 2. So that is how you can answer these questions. I hope that helps. Thank you.